Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to describe what's meant by genetic biodiversity. You should then be able to describe the factors that can affect genetic biodiversity. And finally, you should be able to calculate genetic biodiversity. Over the last few videos we've been looking at biodiversity. Now one really important aspect of biodiversity is genetic biodiversity, which is also called the gene pool. I'm showing you here a range of different dogs. These dogs are all the same species, which is Canis familiaris. Now a key idea you need to understand is that all of the individuals of a species have the same genes. Most genes only have one version, and scientists call those monomorphic genes. However, some genes have different versions called alleles. For example, the genes controlling coat colour in dogs have a number of different alleles. Scientists call genes with different alleles polymorphic genes. So the coat colour genes in dogs are polymorphic genes. I'm showing you here three dogs of the same breed. These are all boxers. Now a pure breed of dogs such as this usually have a relatively low level of genetic biodiversity. That's because all the breeding takes place within a relatively small population of dogs and these are carefully selected by humans. The number of different alleles within this population is relatively small and no new alleles are allowed to enter the breed. This can cause inbreeding within the population and inbreeding can lead to genetically linked health problems. For example, boxer dogs are prone to cancer and heart disease. This dog is a mongrel, in other words not of any breed. Now with mongrels breeding is essentially random. For example many stray dogs are mongrels and will breed with other stray dogs. So this means that mongrels have a wide range of alleles and a high level of genetic biodiversity. Genetically linked health problems are much less common in mongrels than in purebred dogs. Now we can quantify the level of genetic biodiversity. One way is to calculate the proportion of genes that are polymorphic. Remember that polymorphic genes have more than one allele. In contrast, genes which only have one allele are monomorphic. To calculate the proportion of polymorphic genes we use this equation. The proportion of polymorphic gene loci equals the number of polymorphic gene loci divided by the total number of loci. Now the position of a gene on a chromosome is called the gene locus and the plural of locus is loci. So the words gene loci simply mean the positions of genes on a chromosome. You can treat the words gene loci as being equivalent to the word genes in this case. Here's an example question. 80 gene loci were analysed in dogs. Four of the gene loci were found to be polymorphic. Calculate the proportion of polymorphic gene loci. Dividing 4 by 80 gives us a proportion of 0.05. We can also express this as a percentage by multiplying by 100. This means that 5% of the gene loci were polymorphic. In the next video we look at the factors that can increase or decrease genetic biodiversity. 